like to put big heads into my painting. I like to put a man's head on a woman's body and vice versa. A lot of people will see their mother or a long lost aunt or uncle. Others will say, what's that guy doing? It looks like he's doing this. And it's like, okay, if that's what you see, I'm fine with it. Modern Man was probably the third collage painting that I did. So I found this guy who looked like, oh gosh, and now I gotta do all the housework because I'm a modern man. This painting is called Roller Baby. It's a man's head on a baby girl's body, roller skating through New York. I was kind of messing with an Escher thing where you can see the arms going through the building. I've only been painting for a few years, like maybe two and a half years. My style has evolved very quickly because I've spent the last 39 years as a graphic designer wanting to be an artist. Things just took off. Four months ago, I decided to start working in collage. And it was like, I could combine my graphic design with my painting. Well, this is a, a giant man sitting on Tillamook head. And this line of people waiting to view the giant man sitting on the rock. And he's going to be headless right now because I put the head in later. This is my bag of heads. A lot of mug shots or old war pictures from the First World War or the Civil War. So when I'm painting, I go through my bag of heads and I look till the head speaks to me. I rarely use a smiling face because that just looks like a selfie. I don't want my people smiling. <laughs> My good friend, Tom Bandell, who's a copywriter, started driving for Uber. Yeah, I just like driving. I like driving and talking to people. And he was emailing me these little stories that he had written about the people that were riding in his car. I always eavesdrop on what people are talking about. And I just fell in love with them and thought, wow, these kind of go with some of my paintings. And uh, she um, said, well, I need a way to show my images, my paintings, and I was going to do a little book. So I asked him if he wanted to make a book together. It has his writing and my art. This is my favorite story. <laughs> the lady got in the car and she was wearing too much perfume, and it says, too much perfume, too much perfume, losing consciousness. I could hardly breathe. This painting. It's called Sad Day. This is about a woman and a boyfriend fighting. <laughs> Who would do that? I mean, couldn't you wait? I just thought, man, this is like being a voyeur or something. <laughs> it was really interesting. This is probably an old mug shot, and the guy looks serious. That's probably what drew me to this one. I think my most favorite part is putting the face on. I usually wait till the very end to do that just because I feel like that's the payoff. And then I also really like to draw in the paint. I love to paint. I paint every day, at least six hours a day. It was always in there. 
So I feel like I've stored up 39 years of <laughs> this desire to paint. And so now I have like a million ideas in there and just wanting to come out. I'm Karen Whippick, and that's my art. Oregon Art Beat shares the stories of Oregon's amazing artists, and member support completes the picture. Join us as a sustaining member at opb.org/video.